with us since they were very small. They were little just like Angada right there is. They've lived with us since they were tiny. Those different wildlife, incredible opportunities to uh, meet them up close. That's a funny little foot, huh? <laughs> he loves catching wind in his mouth every time. Ah! You bananas for him? Are you bananas for him? Can you draw? It tickles a little bit. <laughs> but we're gonna do something special at the very end for the boys. Okay, no more monkeying around. Hi guys. Just kidding, he sleeps really good. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm having a lot of fun. He's having a lot of fun. Of course, Skylar. We are really enjoying this. So, so subscribe, comment below. Tell us if you love these videos. What's happening today is tomorrow's Valentine's. And we think that Angada making a Valentine's card for the bigger, older chimps would be spectacular. Since he's sleeping, Skylar's gonna go to the store. She's gonna pick up all the arts and crafts we need and Let's get it done. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, we are at CVS right now. Got Landon here for some help. I don't know if you can see. CVS. <laughs> we are here to get these supplies so that we can make the Valentine's Day cards. So let's see what they got. Should we get them one of these? They have tons of Valentine's Day stuff here. We could get them a stuffed animal. They love stuffed animals. Yeah? Yeah. These ones here, Volley and Sagriva will get a kiss from Angada. On the poster board. It comes with lime green, yeah. pink, and dark green. So we'll decide what colors we're gonna use when we get back. Okay, so we just found these shorts and I think we're gonna get them for the boys as well, Volley and Sagriva. Uh, you know how they love putting on shorts and clothing and things, so it could be cute. So we just found some socks that I also think the boys need because you know, Sagriva loves making his coffee every morning and Volley loves dogs. So it's perfect, it's a win-win. Sweet. Okay, so Skylar came back. Um, we already had some paint and some brushes. She got them some kisses, aww. Oh, I love you, a latte. I don't know if you guys have watched uh, Sugriva's channel with Cody Antle, uh, but he makes coffee every morning with him, so that's very cute for him. Well, I guess we'll set these aside. I got some boxers too, nice. We'll set these aside while we make them. And I think we should, oh, do you wanna pick what colors? Do you wanna pick what colors we're gonna give to the big boys? Which one you want for Volley? Can you pick one? Which one you want for Volley? Pink? Okay. Pink for Molly. Which one do you want for Sugriva? You can pick one. Do you want this one or this one? This one? Okay. Sounds good. And we'll set this one aside. So we're gonna have to bend it in half. Okay. Are you helping? I don't think you're helping. I think you're just chewing on the counter. <laughs> Okay, ha, the first one's done. Look, it's a card, and you open it up, and then we're gonna put something special in there, okay? Are you excited? <laughs> Do you like that color? Are you signing it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're such a baby. Everything goes in the mouth, everything. What is something that you would say to Sugriva? I'm bananas for you? I think that'll work. <laughs> you bananas for him? Are you bananas for him? <laughs> oh, here. You got it? You wanna try? Can you draw? <laughs> Same thing. Right in the mouth. Does it tickle? Does it tickle? Does it tickle? It tickles a little bit. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna decorate these with Angada. Um, he is very young, and of course, this paint is non-toxic. This is safe for him. It'll be safe for the big boys, his big brothers. Probably, I'm gonna have to do a lot of this, but, but we're gonna do something special at the very end for the boys. Yeah? Are you excited? Are you excited to help me? Okay, no more monkeying around. So we should put his name on it first, don't you think? I don't even need my help. There, 
Yay, that one's Molly's. Oh, I'm gonna have to write it much smaller for Sugriva. S-U-G-R-I-V-A. Wow. You're gonna have to learn to spell at some point too. We're gonna do it sideways for him. S U G R V A Yay! Now we know whose card is whose. What do you think now? What else should we do? Should we put a little hearts? Oh yeah, because it's Valentine's Day. You can't eat that. I mean you can, but I'm not gonna let you. No. No, no paint for you. Oh, 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 oh. Now we gotta put some hearts on there. We got this awesome glitter glue. Um, we'll see how this turns out. And then on the inside, he's gonna write his own signature, which I'm very excited about. It's gonna be so cute. We do big hearts. I never said I was an artist, <laughs> but I'm trying. Once we put all of these on, then we're gonna have to let it dry for a minute. A uh, huge heart for Subiva with little hearts inside. Okay, so we decided we're gonna blow dry these so that we can get this done faster. Uh, before we do that, make sure you comment below. Tell me what you think their reaction is going to be. Are they gonna love these Valentine cards from Angada? Are they gonna love them? Also, Angada's never been around a blow dryer, so let's see what happens. Are you ready for this? Is this okay? You gonna blow dry it? Oh, that's kinda cool, huh? What do you think about a blow dryer? You have to touch your toes. Touches me. Touches you. You can blow dry your hair. <laughs> he loves catching wind in his mouth every time. Ah. Whenever it gets windy outside, he, he does that. <laughs> he opens his mouth and tries to catch it. Ah. You're the cutest. Make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe below. Tell me what we should do next. Give me some suggestions. I got the help of Sarah, who you met in my wolf video, and she helped me write this down because I was not gonna be able to fit that in there properly. Are you helping still? Yeah, and we're gonna do red paint over the top of it, and this is going to be the coolest Valentine's gift ever. Okay. So we did the front of Sugriva's with I'm Bananas For You and on the inside it said let's never split. I don't know if you guys, I don't think I've actually zoomed in close enough for you guys to see this funny little foot here. So it looks a lot like our foot but the thumb is way out here and what I was thinking was it kind of looks like a V. So we're gonna put love on Gata and that's gonna be the V. <gasps> We should use a tiger cup for the O. Uh -oh. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Let's do it, let's do it, okay. Should we do the V first? Yeah. Okay, let's do the V first. I don't know if you, if you guys watched, I did play just with an empty one to make sure he doesn't care at all. He thinks it's totally fine. I painted him pretend everywhere. He, he thinks it feels just great, so. Let's try it with the paint now. So this is gonna be like his little signature. <laughs> I'm gonna make one for me too, I think. <laughs> what about you, you want I one? Yeah, I do want one. Okay, you ready? So we're going L-O, so the V should be somewhere around there. Ready? That's all right, and then pick it straight up. Woohoo, there's the V, yeah! <laughs> Remember, it's non-toxic. We're just gonna wipe it right off. That's a funny little foot, huh? <laughs> And we're gonna get all that paint off of there. He doesn't even know. He's just chewing on his little toy. This is a little teething toy that Skylar and I wear around our necks so that he could chew on that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no more green foot. It's all clean. Yay! This is Chandra. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we're gonna use her little paw for the O. Yeah, look at that cute little paw. There, it said hello, did you hear it? 
the noise that I'm making and the noise she just made is called a chuff. That's how they say hello. It's a happy noise. <laughs> Either you can roar or you can purr, but you can't do both. So this is a roaring animal. It does um, its own version of a purr, which is a chuff. Gotta get every little toe bean. Get all the toe beans, yeah. And then pull straight up. Oh, look at that, yeah! <laughs> You're in the Valentine's Day card. <laughs> now we gotta clean you all up. Get an all clean tiger cub, yeah. Good, yeah. Ah, that's so cute! Tiger cubs are the sweetest, most gentle, amazing babies. Yes, you're a good baby. Good boy. And up, up and away! Yeah! Look at that silly foot! Look at that silly bee foot! Ah, it's ready, it's ready, yeah! Okay, so we've got the cards made. We have a couple of gifts for the boys. And we're gonna go... Give them their valentines! Are you excited? Are you excited? Yeah! We got the boys out here, we're gonna do volley first. Volley, we've been working all morning on a valentines card for you. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah do you like it? Yeah. Volley, you like it? Look, what else? I got, Volley. Look. I got a kiss for you. I got some socks. Get that, take it. I got it. Get some it. socks. Volley, what are these? Are these for you? Are these for you? Put them on. Put on. Put those on. For you? Are those socks for you? What do you think? Yeah. Do you like yeah. your new socks? Oh, you like socks. I love a sock. <laughs> yeah. Get okay, in. Yeah. Want some help? And. Let's see. Put on. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's see what Sagriva says. Sagriva says, yay. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? It says I'm bananas for you. Oh, it's a card. You want a banana? Oh, it's a banana. Here, check out your card. Look, he made you this. He made you this. We've been working all morning on it. What does it say? It's for Tsubiba. Let's read the inside. It says, let's never split. You want to share the banana with the baby? You want to share the banana with the baby? Can you give him some? Give give him some. Can I share it with the baby? Yeah, give him some. Oh, that was so nice. Awesome. Mm. Yeah. Good boy. I got you some other things. Hold on. You got to kiss. Ooh, kiss, 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 kiss. Some socks. Yeah. Can you put that on? This one says, I love you a latte because you make coffee in the morning. Yeah. And some boxer shorts. Look at those. Ooh. Yeah. Put up these on here. Put your feet out. Put your feet out. Put your feet out. Ooh. 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 Oh, we got a big foot. Oh. Oh, yeah. Steady. Look at those. Look at those. Look at those socks. Look at those cozy ones. I think they like <laughs> it. I think it's a success. Clap it up, clap it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fun job. Oh, that's a fun job. So I think they really liked their Valentine's Day cards. Yeah. I really hope you guys like this video. Again, comment, subscribe, and of course, remember, stay wild. Say bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Angada, are you ready to play with a tiger cub for the first time? And what are you doing? You're being a crazy tiger cub. Tigers that were over 300 pounds. <laughs> what do you think, kid? That is a beautiful, beautiful kid. <laughs> so I wanted to introduce you to a couple more dogs. This is Adelaide and Anubis. Anubis is an old man. He's done a lot of amazing work for us. He actually stayed with tigers that were over 300 pounds. He just became literally a part of the whole family with those tigers. And Adelaide, we just adopted recently. And you can see she's already taking care of some of our animals. And this is one of the young tiger cubs. And we're going to bring out another tiger cub that's a little more on Gata's speed later for you guys to meet. And Adelaide and Anubis are actually taking care of them at night. And during the day, they come out and hang out with these guys. She's, uh, she already was a mama, so she's really, really good at being mothering and taking care of these guys for us. And, and Anubis has actually taught her because he's had so much experience. He actually lived with an adult puma until he got too old. 
and he moved back to uh, some of these younger kids. So he's been a really good dog for us. I'm actually the sixth human to take care of this dog. German Shepherds are really athletic. They require a lot of space. He really worked out really well coming to this facility and helping us with all of the animals. So I really love these dogs. And what are you doing? You're being a crazy tiger cub. You're being a crazy tiger cub. You're so cute. My favorite thing about these white tigers is that beautiful ice blue eye. That is a beautiful, beautiful kid. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> so these guys are a little bit too big to play with on Gata. These guys are already eating meat. Um, they're a little bit more feisty. So we're gonna take out a younger cub for Angara to meet mm. and play with for the very first time. Do you guys think he's gonna like a tiger cub? I think you will. You guys are cute. You guys are cute. Oh, Anubis got it. Arr, arr, good boy. Arr, arr. So the dogs are unbelievably cool for these guys. Even though they have each other, um, the dogs are a lot of enrichment and entertainment for them. Um, they can run around and play with them. And if they get too rough, the dog will tell them um, not to be so tough. So the dog has a cool relationship with them. It teaches these guys. It gives them more exercise and more enrichment to be able to play and hang out with those dogs. Um, I've, I'm really a big fan of the dogs and helping us just, just hang, hang out and take care of all these animals. Yeah, oh look at kisses. That's so nice. Yeah, kisses. <laughs> you guys are silly. You guys are silly. Angara, are you ready to play with the tiger cub for the first time? It's just gonna be you, me, we're gonna introduce you to China, and that tiger cub. Yeah, are you ready? Let's go see them. Let's go see them. Yeah, come on. We're just playing around while we wait mwah, for China to bring out the little tiger cub that's gonna play with Angara today. So we changed his diaper. He's got a clean diaper. He's got a full belly. She's gonna feed that tiger cub first. It gets a super high calorie formula because all of its energy is going and growing right now. These guys can actually gain like half a pound to a pound a day. So we're not gonna do like a growing up with Angata because they grow as fast as puppies. Um, but I really want him to spend some time with them. Again, we're back to new sights, sounds, and smells, right? It's the greatest gift we can give him for him to come out and just play with new animals and have a good time. He has met this tiger cub before. Um, maybe you saw it in my Valentine's video. It's the little one that did the paw print for the O and the love. But this is the first time they're actually going to be able to just play together. They have run into each other for different activities, but this is the first time we're going to get them on the ground together and just see what they do and see if they like each other. So I'm super excited about it. Comment down below if you think he's going to love a tiger cub as much as he loves his dogs. <gasps> Who is that? Do you hear that noise? That's the tiger saying it's happy. It's, a, it's kind of like a hello. It's kind of their version of a purr. Basically, you can roar or you can purr, but you can't do both. So this is called a chuff. It took me a while to be able to do that. Um, I'm not even sure how to explain it to you. It's kind of like rolling the R in Spanish, but you're also like blowing air out at the same time. What do you think about that, friend? So. I wanted to introduce Angara to this tiger cub today, but I also wanted to introduce you guys to China York. When did you start? What year did you start Myrtle Beach Safari? 1999. 1999! We're gonna party like it's 19. <laughs> so anyway, she's been here for 20 years, right? Um, she's one of the cub caretakers, but she's also Volley's mama. So she is on the Myrtle Beach YouTube, if you guys haven't checked it out yet. She's doing a lot of her cooking um, for the great apes because every Sunday, is that what it is? Yep. Every Sunday we do Instagram Live and TikTok Live with the big chimp boys and this little chimp boy eating dinner. Even though he's not eating dinner yet. Oh, are you guys having fun? <laughs> yeah, he just takes bottle. Just like this little guy. Oh. Has this one tried any meat yet? 
No meat yet? No meat yet. Don't usually try um, like baby food that's in a jar or what we call feline diet until they're about um, two and a half months old. There's a tiny little bit of teeth in there that are breaking through right now. And I don't know if you guys know this, but tiger cubs are actually born with full claws. They are like fish hook sharp. Um, when they're when they're babies we can just take like human trimmers and we can just trim the very end so he can't hurt and uh, she sorry she can't <laughs> hurt on gata um at all because those little claws are trimmed it's a fully retractable claw see that so it can go in and out so basically a tiger is going to run up on its prey it's going to dig those 10 10 razor sharp claws into its hide and then muscle it down to the ground a tiger's bite is the same as that Rottweiler you guys met in the other video. It's 750 pounds of pressure. It's not a lot of pressure. But once a tiger has got its massive head, neck, and shoulders involved, it can produce 30,000 pounds of torque. That's how the tiger actually makes a kill, is that unbelievable shake. There is a crazy book if you guys are uh, really interested in a good read. It's called The Tiger, A True Story of Vengeance and Survival and he does a really good job of explaining what a tiger is what their personality is and their intelligence level because a lot of the time we don't really give credit to how smart animals are right because we're the winners but tigers are <laughs> unbelievably intelligent and of course so is a chimpanzee these guys are having so much fun as you guys have probably seen in my other videos, Angata loves dogs. So we thought it would be a really cool idea to just come out here, just China and I, and these two, and just let them play and see how much he likes them. He obviously is totally loving on this beautiful little cotton ball tiger cub. This is a Bengal tiger. Um, you can actually see that there is a striped pattern on her. And she also has blue eyes. That's how we know she's not an albino, right? Albino means lacking all color. And then you've seen in some other animals that are jet black, that's also on the other side of the spectrum, right? That's melanistic. That means they're completely full of color. What do you think, kid? And this little tiger is being, um, raised at night with some of our other dogs which i'd like to introduce you to yeah you guys having fun yeah get him get him so this is the first time that they've really just been able to come out here and play um together and just have a good time thank you so much china for You're bringing welcome. her out to play with him um if you guys are interested and you guys want to get to know this little tiger cub or Angata, you can actually meet them. Check out MyrtleBeachSafari.com. And if you want to learn how we're saving these animals in the wild, go to RareSpeciesFun.org. And remember, stay wild. <laughs> get him. Play with him. Play with that little kid. Yeah, play with that little kid. with us since they were very small. They were little just like Angada right there is. They've lived with us since they were tiny. Those different wildlife, incredible opportunities to uh, meet them up close.